What's up everyone, Knife Fanatic here. Hope all of y'all are having an amazing day. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. We're getting very close to hitting a thousand subs. And if we hit a thousand subs, I plan on doing a 1000 sub giveaway this month. And if you haven't already, go check out my video called five essential items for a bug out bag because all of those items in that video can really be applied in conjunction with all of these items I'm about to show you in this video. I'll leave a link in the video and also down in the description so you can go check that out. So yeah, before we get into this, I just wanna say that all of these items are my opinion. I'm just basically making this video to give you ideas of what you could possibly put in your survival kit or your bug out kit or whatever you want, you know? Um, all of these, in my opinion, are great for survival, you know, situations, or if you just like being outdoors, you can use a lot of these in uh, different scenarios. So yeah. First up, we have what I think is probably the most important item that you could ever have on either your person or um, in the car or at home. You know, you should have one of these readily available to you anywhere that you go. And that is a Band-Aid. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, it's a tourniquet. So this is a combat application tourniquet, a cat. This is made by the North American Rescue Company. It's American made and now, this is something you do not want to cheap out on. There's tons of tourniquets on Amazon that are probably, you know, made overseas in China and stuff like that. This is not something that you want to risk your life with. Um, this is a quality made tourniquet that is going to be durable and this will save your life if it really comes down to that. You don't want your life to rely on a cheaply made piece of equipment that could possibly fail under use. Um, so I highly recommend that you just spend the extra few bucks and you buy a tourniquet from North American Rescue. I will leave a link down in the description to uh, where you can buy these on Amazon. These are coming in at around 33 bucks for just one. Um, now I know that's a little pricey, but you, like I said, you don't want to be risking your life with a piece of gear that is cheaply built. Um, now, if you want to, you know, there's tourniquets for probably like 14 bucks and you can buy a set of two um, just to practice with, that's fine. Um, I highly encourage that if you want to just buy the cheap tourniquets just to practice with, that is perfectly fine. But I do not recommend that you use any um, other tourniquets that are not made in the USA for any type of life-threatening situation. All right, next on the list, we have this FOSS Power Emergency Weather Radio. So this is great. This has a bunch of different uses. It's uh, a hand crank radio. It has uh, solar-powered charging capabilities. Uh, it takes triple A's. It also has a 2000 milliamp battery in here. You can also charge other devices uh, via this USB port. You can charge the battery right there as well. It has a little antenna. Um, and then let's see what else it has. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration channel on here. So if we turn it on and then Hit, I believe that stands for weather band. Um, Wind waves around two feet or less. Swell north 
northwest 3 to 5 feet at 7 seconds. Thursday night, wind northwest 10 to 15. So, yeah, it just basically gives you status updates uh, for the weather and has two two different flashlights on here if you just tilt this little uh solar charger up it has a flashlight on the back of that for reading or whatever you also have a flashlight here on the front which is pretty bright um what else sos feature which is pretty loud i'm not gonna do that i think it's like 115 decibels it has a hand crank on here so you can charge it if it ever runs out of battery. Uh, it's waterproof and drop proof. It's very durable, nice little hand crank radio that you know could give you a lot of information and help you in a lot of different scenarios. And I would highly recommend something like this, you know, in any type of um, survival situation. This could be really useful. And this is coming at just under 30 bucks. It's currently on sale. It usually retails for uh, about 40 bucks, but um, it's like 25% off. So if you want one of these, I highly suggest getting one uh, before the sale ends. I'll leave a link down in the description if you'd like to get one of these. This is great to have in case, you know, there's a natural disaster of some sort and it just wreaks havoc in your area. You know, you can get weather updates or any type of other notification through the radio. All right, next on the list, we have some life straws here. Now these are really good. You can drink basically from any type of water source with these and not worry about getting any type of contaminants inside of your water. It removes like almost 100% of water, waterborne bacteria, almost 100% of waterborne parasites, uh, microplastics. It filters uh, up to like a thousand gallons of clean and safe drinking water. Right now on Amazon, let's see. One is like a little less than 18 bucks. I got two for almost 40. But yeah, I highly recommend, you know, at least getting one. I just got two, you know, just in case, but um, this is a really good piece of equipment just to be able to drink and, you know, continue surviving in the wilderness or whatever have you. And our next item on the list uh, can also be applied in conjunction with the life straws that I just showed you. And I know it's a little bit redundant, but these are some potable aqua tablets. Um, basically, just another way of purifying some, some water. And for me, having multiple ways of consuming water is really important because one is none and two is one. You, you never know when you could possibly lose something or break something or just not have that option to, to use, you know, that way of drinking anymore. You know, your water straw or your life straw could, uh, could break or, you know, you could lose it or whatever have you. So having something like this in your kit, I mean, it's fairly small too. It's not that big. I mean, if you can take these two vials out and just, you know, put them somewhere um, nice and soft inside of your bag to where they're not going to shatter or anything. But yeah, this is uh, really great. Let's see. So this, so this treats up to 25 quarts of water. And there's all types of directions on here and whatnot, but yeah, this is another, in my opinion, a uh, piece of life-saving equipment that you should probably have in your kit. Next up, we got a signal mirror here with a compass on it. It has some instructions on how to use it. This could be used to signal an aircraft or maybe a vessel, um, but yeah, super helpful and useful as you can see. 
my ring light there, but it still has the plastic film on it. But yeah, this is another extremely vital piece of equipment, in my opinion, that could help you if you're, you know, disabled of some sort, you know, you know, if your your leg is injured or something and you can't walk or you can't or don't have the means to signal anyone with a fire, this could help you a lot and could save your life. Next on the list, we have the life tent. Now I'm not gonna open this up, but uh, I will show you different applications that this could be used for. It does also have an emergency whistle on the end of this uh, lanyard here. This is coming at, in at just under 20 bucks for one of these. You can buy a pack of two for just about 37 bucks. Um, this is waterproof and wind resistant. You can make a little tent out of it just like that. It can fit two people. It's pretty compact, but let's see. Comes with 20 feet of paracord. But yeah, this is a really valuable piece of gear in my opinion to you know, create some type of shelter. And it also reflects some heat as well. But yeah, this is, uh, in my opinion, a pretty important piece of gear to help create some shelter to get out of the elements and you know, potentially help you survive. Now, this last item on the list is really good to have, but I wouldn't consider it essential to have in a bug out kit, but these are some saline bullets. Basically what you can do with these is flush out any type of wounds, cuts or scrapes or whatever to just try and uh, you know clean out the wound. You can also use these for rinsing out your eyes, I've, which I've actually done before. And it actually helped a lot, just kind of in a pinch. These could be substituted for eye drops. I have these around pretty much everywhere, you know, I keep um, they come in a box of a hundred of these and they're together in this kind of pack of four and I just have have these uh, laying around pretty much everywhere and I keep them in my car in my backpacks stuff like that so something to really look at but you can get these on Amazon uh, a pack of a hundred of these bullets will they're on sale right now for about 18 bucks and they retail for about 25, but something to consider as well. All right, guys, well, that's it for this. I hope you all enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we'll see you in the next one. My Fanatic out. Peace.